Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Nintendo Sundays Level 3. Sand Canyon, Kirby's Dreamland 3. Mission 4, here we go. Full disclosure here, everybody. Things might seem a little silly here in this episode, and probably in the remainder of episodes for Super Nintendo Sundays of these games that we're in. You might be asking yourself, why is that? Well, it turns out that I, uh, I misplaced some files. And what files those might be? You might ask. Well, the ones that are the save files for every single game that I've played. So, I don't have those, or I didn't have those, for Kirby, for Do Re Mi, or for Yoshi's Island. So there's gonna be some workarounds here that we're doing that will kind of rectify that situation. So you're gonna see that some of the amounts of lives, collectibles, etc. Those are all gonna probably be a little screwy for a few episodes. At least one episode as I get back into the groove of things. There's probably ways to kind of cheese getting back to where I was, like level skips and whatnot, and I might do that depending upon the game that it is. But in the case of this game, Kirby, there is no level select cheats, there's nothing like that, so I actually had to go through and play this game literally from the beginning, not figuratively, start to finish, basically at like 10 times speed. So that's how much I care about this channel and how much I care about all y'all faithful souls of D-Mike Industries. So thank you guys for watching. I think that kind of work, not to embellish, but maybe it deserves a like, a comment, a subscription, who knows? But anyway, this game is, as we getting gobbled up, this game is definitely a sight to behold when played at advanced speeds. I'll just go ahead and say that. It's definitely very strange and funny to watch Kirby blast through different levels. Was it enjoyable? No. <laughs> but I did it because I have integrity. And I don't want this channel to go without another episode of Kirby's Dreamland 3. Can't have that. This game is something else. One of the things, though, that is quite abundantly clear when playing this game. I'm also not sure, are we still underwater? Looks like we're just kind of flowing through some cheese. One of the things that's abundantly clear in this game, when you play it, and I think I just missed something because it made the, the jingle jangle sound. I remember reading something about how there's a boss fight this level, and I guarantee I did not get it. But anyway, that's okay. Not really in the mood to fight a boss here in my currently vulnerable state. But anyway, one thing is abundantly clear for the third time is that this game, one of the things you have to do when you play Kirby is you got to be able to suck. And doing so lets you fly in certain cases. It is really hard to do that when you are playing the game at like 10 times speed. Because you have to mash the button, and I'm just not heckin' good enough. You know, I just can't do it. Can't, I can't button mash with the best of them. Guess I'm getting old, I'm losing my touch. But yeah, so you see the speed at which Kirby is currently running, not too fast. Kind of more of a mild jog, to be honest. Especially because I'm running on this weird sand texture here. No problem. As I was playing, 10 times speed. It was actually pretty enjoyable to watch Kirby run that far. Yeah, so I definitely didn't do the the happy help this person bonus thing. Oops. How about if I set you on fire? Can I warm your heart? Nope. Great. Okay, everybody, we are 0 for 1, but we get a 1 up. We slam dunked that funk. How about that? Okay. So this looks like another bird, maybe? Something gooey? I don't know. The main problem that I have with a lot of these is like, I still don't understand how the designers of this game expected you to know how to do any of this. Like, there's literally no explanations 
on how any of these happy helper things that you do for these characters are supposed to go. I don't know if there's like something that I'm missing. Like feel free to point that out if I'm just an idiot, but like I don't know how you could know. I know that seems like that's kind of a oh we're falling a lot. I know that's kind of a thing that these games were notorious for. I don't mean Kirby games, but like Super Nintendo games in general. They were pretty notorious for really not giving you enough in information. Oh boy, this looks like an auto-scroller. For not giving you enough information. And without said information, oh boy, we're gonna die. Without said information, not sure how there's a lot of things you're supposed to figure out. Makes me think back to playing Donkey Kong Country with my boy Odin as I die. He was well aware of where some of those bonus exits were because he's a smart lad. But I was not, unfortunately, because there's a lot of places that, as much as I've played that game, I thought I knew, but I did not. And you really have to just, it's trial and error, like really, truly trial and error. I have no idea how you're supposed to know any of that. Also, I have no idea if this is what I'm supposed to be doing, being chased by this giant meatball. This doesn't really feel like the most efficient way to be doing this. Okay, so it appears that we have a little bit of a help here from whatever, I think her name is Choo Choo, oh. Did you see that? She clings to the sea, oh. Okay, this is pretty useful. I can avoid the enemies, I can avoid the giant meatballs. Oh, not avoiding damage though, that's still a thing. These fake jerks, oh. I don't know if that's what I was supposed to do or or what, but it felt pretty right. I like that she clings to the ceiling, it's kind of cute. Maybe we'll grab these stars here because we are playing kind of crappily. And I can't... <laughs> okay. Could you cling to the wall sideways? No, but I can't... What am I... What is happening? Okay. Apparently me trying to jump up is just not gonna happen. It's like, I don't have enough vertical momentum to do any of that. That's okay. Alright, this is like an option to get all these powers, I guess. Let's, uh... Let's just ditch her because I didn't like the I that I couldn't fly. It's kind of annoying. Like, regular Kirby, NBD, but hanging out with I believe her name is Choo Choo. Or Clue Clue or something like that. Get a clue clue with your choo choo. It was not a happening. All right, so I do need cutter apparently. I need turd cutter. So here we go. I wish that, that was kind of a thing that they prioritized more often. Like actually made it something legitimate. That we were actually supposed to use the different power ups more than just for progress, as in like blocks. But. Who am I to say? Okay, so apparently everything just is gonna try to kill me now. This game, of course, as all games do, is not getting easier as I play. But I feel like I'm doing a really half-baked job at showing it off, which makes me feel bad, because I do pride myself, as all of us employees at DMIC Industries do, at being able to try to do a faithful job of showing off what's going on, but some of these games are just so wonky and I don't know them well enough, so I guess that's my fault. Oops. Oh man, looks like I had disappointed the creme brulee. I'm very sorry. But we'll have a energy drink and get right back to it. Oh my goodness, that looks like, um, that looks like Rob the, the robot from the regular Nintendo. Anybody have one of those? Those things were pretty cool, right? It was used with a couple different games. I don't know the games off the top of my head because I didn't own one. But I know that you needed it. Well, you didn't. Okay. I don't think you needed it to play those games, but I guess it allowed you to be able to 
play said game. Something was like a uh, like a climbing game. And I'm just running into everything. I'm just brute forcing this game. But I remember it was some sort of a climbing game and the other one was like stacking discs or like these ring things. I don't know. I don't recall. Also, this is super trippy. And making my brain hurt a little bit. I'm very afraid. Oh, I was almost there. The big black balls of death do me again. But anyway, good thing I got all these lives. I can burn through them. It's like these kind of seem like they're at like random intervals. Oof. That's okay. You don't want big black ball big black balls on your head. That's really tough to say. Try to say that. Viewers, try to say big black balls 10 times fast. Okay, so we are swimming. Oh, and we can choose which way to go. Oh. Okay, so I have no idea what is happening. I don't know what this has to do with a sand canyon, but this is very trippy. These backgrounds kind of remind me of maybe Earthbound. When you get into battle, Oops, okay. Wait, was I supposed to go into that? Wait. Can I, can I grab this? Oh, I did grab it. It looked like a disappointed robot head. Oh, you can only go down in the blue areas. That's it, everybody. If you're red, you're dead. Okay, so I think I might be doing a bit of a collect-a-thon here, maybe? I feel like I'm kind of blocked out of some of these areas, and I almost wonder if I'm missing something. I don't know if Kirby will be able to get the job done all by himself here. Uh, what is... What is happening? I hope this isn't like an endless... Okay, so that was pointless. Great. Thank you, game. Um... Yes, so I have no idea what I'm doing right now. This is... This is ridiculous. Okay. Are there... Is this just... Okay, so it looks like I need one of these two powers. I don't know if I can... I don't think I can do these things by myself, though. I feel like one of the animal buddies might be required here. So we'll try one last time. I don't know why they thought this was fun. It is questionable at best and annoying at worst. So, okay, maybe there are animal buddies in this one. I just, is this not, did I go on the wrong thing again? Can I shoot through walls? I could have sworn that I went to the left of her, okay. I feel like that's what I did. I thought I went to the left the first time. Unless this just infinitely loops, it might, yeah. Alright, so it looks like I am not going to be able to do this, whatever whatever I'm being asked to do. I did collect the head of Rob. Getting head is always good, but let's see. I just kind of want to leave now? Nope. I want this goo monster to just spit me into the, the exit. Because this is not enjoyable. Oh. Making my brain hurt. I apologize for anybody that's. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. For anybody that's having a rough time with these backgrounds, I apologize. I am. I can definitely understand because I myself am not really feeling it. I'm kind of just trying to focus on the stuff in the foreground because the stuff in the background is just nasty. Looks like an old Windows screensaver. All right. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to complete this mission, which is okay. I just want to get the heck out of here. There's cannons. There's crazy designs flying around. Feeling very triggered right now. I just want to run away. And find the star door, please. And thank you. Oh boy. No, no, no. We're going so slowly. Hold on. Oh, there it is. All right, so definitely did not fulfill the obligation. Oh, this is the guy that you, that is in the game with Rob, but hey, at least I found part of him for you. 
Beggars can't be choosers, so go find yourself. Okay, so we are rewarded with nothing. But we do have on our hands, ladies and gentlemen, a fight with whoever... Porn con oh, Pawn Con. Okay, so here we go. Boss fight with Pawn Con. Ooh, this makes me think of... Um, I don't know if anybody's ever seen... Okay, so we died already. Anybody's ever seen the Studio Ghibli film, Pom Poco? But this kind of reminds me of that with <laughs> kind of raccoons or tanukis rolling around. I don't know what is happening right now. These... Uh... Can I... Okay. Am I supposed to shoot these guys at the bomb? Oh, wait. Oh, no. This is very strange. What is going on? Like, who thought this was fun? Okay. So that seemed like that might have done some... Oh, you can't... You can't suck on the big ones. Oop, and you... Whenever you bounce down, you... You lose what you gobbled up. So you gotta be careful with that. Alright, so maybe when they run at me... I have to shoot the bomb. Or shoot them. Oh, I have to shoot them. Okay. So I have to... Shoot the young creatures at the larger creatures. That guy turns green. And then I avoid the bomb. Yeah. So sometimes I uh, I wonder if I'm like having fever dreams with the things I do and say at night when I sleep. This is something that it's happening when I'm awake. So this is the weirdest thing. I really don't want to have to do this fight again. So I need to actually be... A little more prescient with my health. Yeah, this is, um... This is certainly a thing. I don't know if I'd say this is enjoyable. But we're doing it. We're doing it for you guys. Okay, so I do more damage to the weird fox thing. I have to say that this feels like this is a direct reference to Pompoko because there were foxes in that game and there were the little... Tanukis that are like the, the focal point. Oh I, oh, I killed that guy. I just done crushed him, and Kirby is very pleased. We can suck all the tanukis we want, but we still gotta kill the, the adult. Ooh. Okay, where is it? Oh, I missed. Oh, you goofed. Okay, so this is horrible in every imaginable way. It's definitely not the most fun thing I've done in my entire life. It is an interesting boss fight, I'll give it that. Oh boy. We're about to take damage. Ooh. Only have one hit left. This is gonna come down to the wire, it appears. Oh. I always forget that he's got the little hibbity hops. The hip hop, the hibbit, the hibbit, the hibbit, hip hop, hibbit hop hop. Right? Is that how it goes? All right. Oh, I did it again. Wait, there's a chance. Ooh, I got him right in the bum. All right, here we go. Boom. Porn con attended, completed. All right. That was 10 kinds of horrible, ladies and gentlemen. But we have completed level three of Kirby's Dream Land 3. This has been Super Nintendo Sundays. I've been D-Mike. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I'm not giving you the finger, but Kirby might be. I'll see you next time. Bye.